Hi, thanks for joining us. Today we'll show you how to make a wise oak necklace. You'll need one 40 by 50 millimeter pear shaped snakeskin jasper pendant, two 15 by 20 millimeter oval snakeskin jasper beads, five 12 by 12 millimeter faceted onyx coins, and four 10 by 14 millimeter bronzite oval beads. From Amora Cast, you'll need one sterling silver wise oak pendant and two leafy twig connectors. But that's not all. You'll also need one sterling silver 30 by 30 millimeter brush soldered ring, one three by five millimeter oval jump ring, a lobster claw clasp, one five by five millimeter 18 gauge jump ring, two by two millimeter Rolo chain, and 22 and 24 gauge dead soft wire. For tools, you'll need round-nosed and flat-nosed pliers, nail clippers, and a sewing pin. To begin your project, you'll need to cut a half-inch piece of 2 by 2 millimeter Rolo chain. You'll also need to pre-cut two 2-inch two pieces to use further on in this project. We've already cut the pieces of chain that we need. So begin by opening your 3 by 5 millimeter oval jump ring with your flat nose pliers. Then attach your half inch piece of chain, followed by your Amora Cast Wise Oak pendant and the 30 by 30 millimeter brush soldered ring. Once you've done all that, you can close your jump ring. To create the spiral pin used in this video, cut a piece of your 22 gauge dead soft wire. Then grab the very end of the wire with your round nose pliers and wrap the wire at least twice around to form a spiral. Insert the pin into the pendant. The double spiral loop will act as a stopper to prevent the pendant from sliding off. Bend the top of the wire at a 90 degree angle and wrap the wire around the round nose pliers to form a loop. Slide the end of your Rolo chain into the open loop. Using the round nose pliers, grab the loop firmly and wrap the wire around approximately one and a half times. Trim off the excess wire with a pair of nail clippers. And now, the pendant part of the necklace is complete. Next, we're going to make the chain part of the necklace. First, you'll need to slide one of the oval bronzite stones onto your 24 gauge wire, followed by one of the leafy twig Amoracast connectors. Allow 3 quarters of an inch on the end. Wrap the wire around your round nose pliers to form a loop. 
slide the leafy twig connector into the loop and wrap one and a half times. Bend the excess parallel to the wire and slide on your bronzite bead. Make your loop on the opposite end with your round nose pliers and wrap the wire around once. Trim off the excess with your handy nail clippers. Slide the 24 gauge wire through the opposite side of your leafy twig connector, followed by a faceted onyx coin, leaving 3 quarters of an inch. Wrap a loop with your round nose pliers, grab the loop firmly, and wrap the wire around one and a half times. Lay the excess wire flat and slide the onyx bead over it, keeping your leafy twig connector to the side. Make your loop on the opposite end of your onyx with your round nose pliers. Slide your leafy twig connector into the loop and wrap one and a half times. Trim off the excess with the nail clippers. Slide your 24 gauge wire through the unused loop of your faceted onyx coin, followed by a 20 by 15 millimeter snakeskin jasper oval. Leave 3 quarters of an inch and wrap a loop with your round nose pliers. Grab firmly and wrap the wire around once. Lay your end flat with the wire and slide your snakeskin jasper over it and firmly against the loop. On the opposite end, bend your wire at a 90 degree angle, form a loop with your round nose pliers, and slide on your finished chain pieces. Grab the loop firmly, wrap the wire one and a half times, and then trim the excess with the nail clippers. Feed the 24 gauge wire through the snakeskin jasper loop. Slide on a bronzite oval bead and one of the pre-cut 2 inch pieces of 2 by 2 millimeter Rolo chain. Form a loop with your round nose pliers and slide on the 2 inch piece of chain, keeping your stone to the side. Wrap the wire one and a half times and lay the excess wire flat and slide the bronzite bead firmly over the wire to the loop. Bend the wire at the opposite end at a 90 degree angle and form a loop. Slide on your finished chain piece and wrap one and a half times. Repeat these steps to create the other side. To get a better look at how to do the wire wraps on this necklace, take a look at our video, How to do a double-ended wire wrap with a center drilled stone. You'll find the link in this video's description.
Now you have your left and right decorative chain. Take two. Now you have your left and right decorative chain. Now we're going to attach the left and right side of our decorative chain to our wise oak pendant. Feed your 24 gauge dead soft wire through the top loop of your finished pendant. Slide on a faceted onyx coin bead and both sides of your decorative chain. Make a loop with your round nose pliers. Slide the two bronzite ends into the loop. Hold the loop firmly and wrap the wire around one and a half times. Bend the excess wire down and slide the onyx coin up firmly against the wrap. Bend the other end of the wire at a 90 degree angle Form a loop and slide on the pendant. Grab the loop firmly and wrap the excess wire around one and a half times. Then clip off the excess wire with your nail clippers. Adjust your wraps so they lay flat when you wear the necklace. Adjust your wire wraps so they lay Adjust your wire wraps so they lay flat when you wear the necklace. To finish, you're going to add another faceted onyx coin at the end of the Rollo chain. And once again, you want to use the center drilled wire wrap as seen in the video how to do a double-ended wire wrap with a center drilled stone. You can make this necklace as long as you like. We're making it a total of 30 inches. So we're going to add another eight inches to each end.
Oh, <laughs> fuck. Wait, wait, what's going on? We're almost done. Now we're going to add the lobster claw clasp. Open the jump ring on your lobster claw clasp. Slip on one end of the chain and close the jump ring. On the opposite side, using a 5x5mm jump ring, open the jump ring and slide on the chain. Close the jump ring firmly. Congratulations! You have now completed your very own Wise Oak Necklace.
Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe to our channel because we've got more how-tos and design projects coming up.